Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen again. I'm gonna be filming a lot in here, I think, because my last kitchen was really awkward. I could not get a tripod or anything in there, so this is really exciting. Um, I don't know, I felt the need to share with you why we're in my kitchen again, and we'll probably be in my kitchen again next week. Keep the comments coming, requests coming. If you wanna see like what I eat in a day, or any healthy food demos, just let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, that being said, I just went to the grocery store and I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what my first grocery haul looks like. I haven't shopped for this place much at all aside from beverages and I just went to Whole Foods and thought it would be kind of, I don't know, fun because I'm nosy and I love watching those kind of videos and maybe you guys enjoy watching those videos too. And I have a lot of weird, not weird, but I like to keep things pretty gluten-free, dairy-free, really fresh, really clean, really simple. I'm not the kind of person that is like, a, I don't eat that ever, ever, ever. Like if I go out to eat, I'm very lenient. But at home, I do try to keep things as healthy as possible. So let's get started. I will start with... Dun, da, da, da. This is actually kind of like healthy junk food. This is a gluten-free pepperoni pizza. This is from Udi's. This is a pizza that James actually really likes, and it's something that I can simply just throw in the oven. It's really easy to make, it's delicious, it's better than running through the fast food drive through and I love this. We'll get like the junky food out of the way because it's kind of staring me down at the top of the bags here. I have my favorite potato chips from Kettle. These are sea salt organic potato chips. They don't have MSG, which I am really sensitive to. If I have MSG, my heart starts going out of control and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So I have to be really careful to avoid that. And these are gluten-free as well, really simple ingredients and they're potato chips. I mean, they're not the healthiest thing in the world, but these are at least healthier than some of your mainstream potato chips that have a lot of chemical additives and whatnot. So I love those. Let's talk a little beverage, shall we? Because I am obsessed with Mama Chia. I've talked about this like 5,000 times on my channel. I keep my fridge stocked with a few of these. I don't go too crazy because they are a little bit pricey, but they are like dessert. They taste incredible. They're really healthy for you, full of omega-3 fatty acids, great source of fiber. You have a little protein in here. So it's like a snack, but really refreshing. And I just love it. Kiwi lime is my favorite flavor. My absolutely favorite uh, mixture, milk, kind of faux milk mixture. This is an almond coconut from Almond Breeze, and this is so good, even in coffee or cereal or anything, it is just delicious. I don't keep any milk in the fridge. I just keep rice milk, almond milk, coconut milk, but I don't keep dairy in the fridge. I don't avoid it entirely. I probably should because I feel like I'm slightly lactose intolerant. I, if I drink too much milk, I get breakouts and I feel gross. So I do like to have alternatives, and this one is actually really, really good. I have a little fresh salsa. It's the hot variety because I love spicy food. I cannot get enough spicy food ever, and I love keeping fresh salsa on hand just because it's great to add into a salad. It's great to do with vegetables. I just love to add a spice to anything. Like Even if I'm doing a veggie sandwich with avocado, I'll put like a spoonful of salsa on top, and that's just it's just so good. Speaking of hot stuff, Let's talk about my favorite hot sauce in the universe. This is Mazetta, I think is how you say the name. I'm not sure. California habanero hot sauce. This is so hot, your mouth might burn on fire. Like only get this if you love, love, love spicy stuff. It is so good though. I will actually mix a few drops in with olive oil and that's what I'll use most often for salads or to add a little kind of zing to chicken that's just been steamed or grilled. And it's just, oh, I can't live without this. This lives in my fridge permanently. If I'm out, I rush and buy more right away. I always have on hand frozen berries because these make all the difference in the world when you are making smoothies. I don't like to use ice. I like to use frozen berries instead. And let me know. I actually, I use strawberries in my protein shake all the time. And if you guys want to see maybe in Tip Tuesday, like a quick demo, that could be fun. So let me know. I have some burritos because I just, Mexican food is my favorite, you guys. I love spicy stuff, I love all Mexican food, and this is a healthier option than going through Taco Bell. This is gluten-free, dairy-free, it's really yummy, you just throw it in the oven, and it's quick, easy, fast food, fast, healthy food. What else have we got in here? Suja, oh, I love these. I've Instagrammed these, I've talked about these, I've favorited these. These are amazing, they are not cheap. However, this is the closest thing to actually putting 
uh, vegetables through your own juicer that I have been able to find that if you are running about and you are craving some nutrients and juice, it is worth the spend in my opinion to kind of get some fresh cold pressed juice. It's so delicious, I love it. One bag down. Um, I didn't do like major shopping, you guys. I'm actually going to be out and about a lot this week. So this is kind of, this is not what I would just buy for like an entire week of making meal stuff. This is just odds and ends for having just moved in and wanting some stuff on hand. More junk food that is healthier than the normal junk food. And this has already been opened. I wonder who opened this and already got into it. His name is James. Um, okay, these are Udi's Snickerdoodle cookies. The chocolate chip variety is also excellent. Even if you're not into gluten-free foods, these are just, like, they taste so good. They are amazing. Got some bananas. I like to keep lemon on hand. I will use this to kind of cut open and zest up a salad or put it in my water, which will boost your metabolism and is really great for helping to hydrate your body. I just like having lemons on hand at all time. Also, I like having avocados on hand at all times. And I have some kiwi fruit too, just to snack on. As mentioned, I am slightly obsessed with chia. I just feel good when I have chia seeds in my diet. So these are great little snack packs. I keep these in my purse if I am like running low on energy and I need calories and I need something. These are great to just uh, eat in a pinch. Like it's easier to eat than a protein bar sometimes. You know, like chewing a protein bar is almost kind of annoying. Do you know what I mean? These are just easier. They're great for kids. They're just, they're really, really good. And then I had to run over to Ralph's, which is like my normal grocery store. It's not a health food store. It's just like, you know, your normal grocery store. But they didn't have the protein powder that I normally like and stevia that James likes. So anyway, um, stevia in the raw is the one that we use. We keep a bunch of these bags on hand because we use them for every Thing from sweetening up oatmeal cereals um, shakes or for coffee this is really great so love this and then this my friends is my most favorite protein powder I take this every single day it's an egg white protein it's chocolate I have tried so many different protein powders that taste gross this one actually tastes good it doesn't upset my stomach because um, for some reason, sometimes protein powders really just don't agree with me. But if I'm going to be working out, I love doing this after I work out, and it's just really, really yummy. What else did I get? Am I missing anything here? Oh! Last but not least, my friends, I picked up some flowers that smell so good, and I love them. I think having fresh flowers in your home, if you can afford to do that, it's just a wonderful, easy way to just bring some happiness, and I don't know, I just feel happier when I have a bouquet of fresh flowers. They don't have to be anything crazy expensive. I think these were like $7.99. All right, I'm gonna go put my flowers in water and uh, put away my groceries, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you want more health-related videos like this. Leave me your request below, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.